Hey everyone, it's Meredith, and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys all about my mascaras. And I'm going to go through each of the mascaras I have and list the positive and negative things about each one. And I'll share with you guys my favorites and my least favorites and the ones that are the best deals, you know, all that sort of stuff. Because a bunch of you guys have been requesting this and thought it would just be interesting. As you can see, I have a lot of mascaras. That's because I'm the kind of person who never throws away mascara. I've said it before and I just, I can't throw them away. I'm kind of attached to them. I don't know why, but I'm determined after I film this video and share with you guys my favorites and least favorites, I'm going to clean these out and I'll probably have like two left. But you know what? That's okay because I need to be, I need to be cleanly, you know? I can't put germs into my eyes. I just can't do that. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with my most favorite out of these and then I'll work my way down into the least favorites as well. My current favorite mascara is this one right here. This is the L'Oreal Lash Out Butterfly Mascara and my second favorite is this one which is also by L'Oreal and as you can tell the packaging is very similar on these. This one is called Voluminous Million Lashes Mascara. And these two both work amazingly on my eyelashes. I'm obsessed with both of them. I've gotten this one a lot more recently, so it works better because this one is super old right here. But I will definitely repurchase these. Um, L'Oreal mascaras are a little bit more expensive, um, even though you can still find them at the drugstore. But I find that they have some of the best quality out there. Another mascara that I've been loving recently is this one right here by Maybelline. And I love Maybelline mascaras. I feel like a lot of people are either Maybelline or their cover girl when it comes to mascara and I personally am Maybelline. I just find that their products work better with my eyelashes and this right here is the Falsies Big Eyes Mascara and this has two different sides to it if you've never seen this before. This side right here is for your top lashes and then what I really like is that it has another brush for your bottom lashes. So I obviously love using this on my bottom lashes. Um, the brush is really small and makes it really easy to you know, get every single lash without, you know, coating your skin with black mascara because that ain't cute. So I really love this one and I would definitely recommend it. Another Maybelline mascara that I haven't used in a while but I used to be obsessed with is this one right here and this is the Colossal Volume Express Mascara in the Cat Eyes version. I had, actually, I do have the normal Colossal Mascara but I prefer this one much, much more. Because this brush is so much thicker, I find that it's very easy to get mascara all over my eyelids, which is just not a cute look. So I prefer the cat eyes version because the brush is a lot thinner. And I also love using this for my bottom lashes because as you can kind of tell, it sort of makes like a little bit of a U and it just, you know, fits perfectly right under your eye. So I really love this mascara. Next, I have the Maybelline Rocket Volume Express Mascara, and I was obsessed with this stuff last summer. I pretty much use the whole entire bottle. Now it's just like it's not even worth using anymore. I really need to throw it away. But I'm glad I didn't because I can share it with you guys in this video. I was seriously obsessed with this. I find that this gives a more of a natural look to your lashes. It doesn't clump them at all, but it gives them enough length and enough volume to look like your eyelashes, but better, if that makes sense. So I would definitely recommend this. Um, I also have the waterproof version in this, and I still have some of this left, so I use this a lot when I am, you know, going swimming or at the lake, and I just... I love these two and I would definitely recommend them. Next, I have two Maybelline mascaras that I don't really prefer. First of all, I have the Falsies Volume Express Mascara. Now this, I would say, was Maybelline's like most popular mascara ever. People were obsessed with this, people still are obsessed with this, but I personally just never really liked it. I accidentally bought the waterproof version of this and I meant to buy um, just the normal, but even the waterproof I did not like at all. Um, I find that the brush is just super clumpy. I need like harder bristles on a brush and these are just, you know, soft and I find that they just don't really work well with my eyelashes. So I personally would not recommend this one. I also am not a huge fan of Maybelline's Mega Plush Volume Express Mascara. Why are they all called Volume Express? I'm just not realizing that. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the Mega Plush Mascara. Um, same thing with the brush bristles. They are very soft and they're not hard and stable you know they're just more wiggly wiggle 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 that just doesn't seem to work for my eyelashes so i don't really like these you will see that trend reappear throughout this video that i need hard bristled brushes and not soft ones like this now here comes a very unpopular opinion that i personally have and that is with 
the Maybelline Great Lash Lots of Lashes Mascara. I personally hate this stuff. And I've never heard anyone else say that they dislike this. Everyone I know is obsessed with it and they use it like every single day, but I hate it. I, I just hate it. I always try it, I'm like, oh, maybe this time I'll like it. Let me try it again, maybe I'll like it this time. You know, maybe, maybe today will be the day, but no, I've never had a good day with this mascara. I find that it just, I feel like it separates my lashes, but in a bad way. It like makes them spread far apart and then it like clumps one and like, I, I can't even explain this. I feel like when I put this on my lashes, it gives me no volume at all. It just gives me length and then it like squishes my eyelashes together so it looks like I have like five eyelashes when in reality I'm supposed to have like 25? I don't know. How many eyelashes do you have? Maybe 50? I don't know. It doesn't matter. But I just really, really hate this stuff and you know, maybe one day I'll grow to like it but for now it's just, it's a no way for me. Another mascara that I kind of dislike, not kind of, I really dislike it, is this one from CoverGirl, and this is the Flamed Out Mascara from CoverGirl, and you probably guessed it, the reason I don't like it is because of the soft brush it has, and I just find that this does not work well with my lashes at all. I mean, I've said it plenty of times, I just need a harder brush, and this one is just super soft, and... It just doesn't work for me, so this is a no. Next up, this mascara right here, which is actually by Maybelline, and this is super duper old. Like, I remember getting this in, like, maybe ninth grade, 10th grade, and that's horrible because I'm going into 12th grade. I'm a mascara hoarder, I admit it. If I didn't mention it already, this is called the Illegal Length um, mascara and it has fiber extensions in it which is really interesting because when you pull out the brush you notice oh my gosh like this looks kind of weird it's so long but there are literally little fibers in here that like hold on to your eyelashes and it's like a fake eyelash comes off and makes it even longer so this is definitely good if you want a mascara that gives you length I would highly recommend this because it literally is like little extra eyelashes in this tube and they just go on and they give you length and it's just kind of magical. So although I don't use this right now, I used to be obsessed with it and I would recommend it if you need longer lashes. Next I have a Revlon mascara and I'm pretty sure this is the only Revlon mascara I've ever owned. Yep, this is the only one. But I got this because I needed, this summer I needed a new waterproof mascara and this is the Revlon Lash Potion Mascara. Um, but this is in waterproof and this is just kind of a eh, I mean, eh. I got this for spring break and I took it with me to the beach and I used it while I was there but I definitely prefer, you know, my L'Oreal mascaras down there more than I prefer this one because again of the soft brush it has. It just makes my life difficult. But I will admit that the waterproof part of this is definitely helpful because it does stay on your eyelashes a long time. And lastly, I'm going to be talking about this little mascara right here. This is a sample size of the Benefit Bad Gal Lash that I got in some sort of package from Ulta when I ordered something last year. And um, I personally love this stuff. Now, this does have a soft brush, like I said, that I hated earlier, but I went through a phase where I was obsessed with this. I wore it all the time, and this because I love this so much, I'm really tempted to get the Benefit Their Real Mascara because everyone is obsessed with that. I feel like I need it in my life because I do really, really love this one. It is um, a bit more expensive since it's from Benefit, and that's why I would say, you know, go to the drugstore first. You can find better stuff there, but this was a free sample, and I really like it. Okay, so that is everything for my mascara collection. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Maybe you need to go try out some new mascaras for back to school. I don't know, but next time you're at the drugstore, just remember all those tips I gave you like, oh, Meredith uses a hard bristled brush. But I guess that's a problem because you can't like open up the mascara in the store. You know what, never mind. Don't take my advice, okay? But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Also, be sure to leave any video requests you have for back to school in the comments below. And yeah, that is all for today. So I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.